because there's always gonna be someone hungrier than you in any industry. Hey everyone, it's A back on your screen with another vlog, struggling with my blender again. Again. You know what? I made an Amazon order a couple days ago. Figure one. It came yesterday. I'm gonna open it for you guys in a second. I probably should have ordered a blender. That's what I should have done. Where is the straw? Hello? Oh, it's right here, in front of my face. Like most things. Okay, first of all, I know this is such a little thing, but I'm so happy that it looks more organized. And I finally have a full set. If you watched last week's vlog, you know, you know what happened there. So anyway, here I go trying to make a spinach, strawberry, banana, raspberry smoothie. As I was putting the fruits in, I'm like, this is not a good idea, is it? At times, I have to water down my smoothies in order for the blender to work. Anywho, in other news, I'm going on a walk today with a friend who I haven't seen in forever. I think it's been more than a year. I used to work with her. And then she left, and then I left, and life got busy. You know how that goes. So it's going to be good to catch up with her. I'm trying to make this summer my reintroduction to my social life because I'm sure like you, the panorama kind of messed that up for two years. So there's a lot of old friends who if you've gone back in the archives, you might recognize. Ooh, this is thick with two C's. Let's see if it's tasty. Why is my eye twitching? <laughs> I thought my eye was twitching because of this supplement I started taking, Eye Bright and Bilberry, but it's twitching and I haven't taken it yet. So what's that? And I didn't take it yesterday because I was out all day. It's not bad. I thought it would taste a lot worse than it does because the strawberries have been in the freezer for half a year. That's kind of gross. Okay, let me sip this quick. And I don't think she's gonna wanna be in the vlogs. Plus I haven't seen her in a minute, so I'm gonna wanna enjoy the one-on-one time. But if we see anything scenic, I'll bring you guys and show you that. Otherwise, I'll see you when we get back and I'll open the Amazon package to show you what I got. <laughs> here it's a Monday but not this Monday this is the Monday after this vlog is done when I do my last run throughs edits throw the songs on do what it do you know initially I thought I was just missing a couple montages cooking dinner making breakfast still sucks because it took me two hours for each of those things did not realize that somehow I lost two days worth of footage Monday and Tuesday in the ethers just know I was vlogging those days. I even went the extra step of explaining and giving you an OOTD before we go out on Wednesday. But all that, poof, kaboot, gone. I don't know. Life of a content creator. We proceed. So we're going to get back to what we're doing. Wednesday, I went out to Italy with an old friend. So let's get to that in three, two, one. <laughs> Play with a don't be the signers. Still tired of this standing in this logic. Yeah, I'm taking a better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I wanna give you better. Baby, it's whatever. Are they just parents? Damn, if I let them catch up, it's easy to see that you're fed up. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him Fuckin' girl, I guess he didn't know any Girl, I'm happy and it's so any Do all I can just to show you you're special From uh, north of Italy, from Lombardia um, Very, very good, it's one of my favorite Amaro We don't have it here in Piazza, we have it in Milano Classic balanced uh, Amaro So we have it with some sweetness, some bitterness, lots of coffee and a lot of herbs as well, so it's a very good one. Um, it's a little bit more on the drier and bitter side compared to the coffee. This one is a vermouth, so it's not an actual amount. 
Patreon, did a little bit of work. It's almost lunchtime and I'm having breakfast. So bad, 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 bad. Anyway, I'm gonna have this real quick. Hope that it doesn't make me puff up like a puffy fish. Because I'm going to do a quick TikTok during my lunch break. <sighs> Put that away. I went to bed at what, 8.39 yesterday? That's why I didn't wrap up the vlog. Literally came home. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to put my head down while I'm listening to something on YouTube. Wake up an hour later, like, no, 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 no. Let me just brush my teeth because I'm exhausted. I already showered and everything else. Tell me why I wake up at 1 a.m. No words. That food was so good. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Trust me, that was some of the best seafood I've had in a long time and the best rose I've had this year. I wish it was sold at the LCBO, but I think I have to go there to buy it. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. I feel like I need more. Is this gonna? It smells fine. I'm just scared because it's, I shouldn't have these things in the door, should I? They say things in the door are not kept as cool. Let me stop rambling so much to you. I love that I'm making iced coffee and I still have to finish this. Who am I? Let me pour it into a glass so I can at least feel fancy with it. Actually, I'm gonna use my other glass. Let's use this glass. We'll use this for iced coffee and we'll use this one for burdock fruit, which reminds me, I haven't taken any of my supplements today. I got a lot on the go, okay? I have this, 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 and my doxycycline for my acne. That's a lot, that's a lot. Am I having any dairy? No, so I can have this now. Oop, just one. Hopefully when I'm done, I don't have to take these again because technically they're antibiotic. You're not supposed to take antibiotics long-term. And then I'll have this at the end of the day. Can't mix calcium with doxycycline. Plus magnesium is supposed to make you sleepy. Hasn't happened yet though. Oh, love. I didn't put ice in there yet. Let me use this one. Whoop. I'm obsessed with these. I don't know if it's showing because I don't have product showcase on. There's so many settings on this camera I need to figure out. This orb though. Oh, wow. It's only half. What the hell? I didn't do that properly. Goodbye. Let's try another one. Letting ring case. <laughs> okay, let me just switch you guys around so you can see better. I don't know what I'm doing because when they do it on TikTok, it looks fantastical. Absolutely chef's kiss. But you know what looks good? 
my little homemade waffle. So happy about that. I'm so grateful that my friend Sam met with me. I haven't seen her in such a long time and it was so good. It really grounded me. It was so good to see her. I missed her so much. And it was nice that she was able to come on the vlog for a bit. When I took out the camera, she's like, whoa, a real camera. Because everyone's used to me just using my phone to vlog. So I'm like, yeah, some things have changed in the last little bit. So it was really good. Such a good, I don't know. It was just good, okay? So good that your girl passed out early. It was the heat and the vino. Your girl was knocked out like a light. So this will help me come back to life. I also have a lot of catching up to do because I was supposed to use last night to edit today's video, which is Atlanta season one, episode two. I hope you guys are enjoying the flashback to the past. I still can't believe that show came out in 2016 and it's still relevant to so many things today. Depending on how it goes, I should show you guys one sec. Let's move the camera around. You can see this little catastrophe. I think this bra is supposed to go with what shirt? I think it's this one. So put it there. I'm currently, switch you guys around some more. So this is my TikTok setup for later today. I'm just waiting for the clouds to figure themselves out because I can't film if it keeps going in and out because when I do the I'm sure you've seen that TikTok by now. But when I do the switches, I can't have the light switching on me too. And if you know me, my little blind eyes, I don't have the time to be tweaking the light post pro on Final Cut Pro. We're not doing that. So I need a good half an hour because that's probably how long it's going to take me to switch each fit, accessories, bags, and shoes, seven outfits. There's one over there and I'm wearing one because I figured it'd be easier. I don't just dress like this in my house. But um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do a little later on the afternoon. I also desperately need a pedicure, but I don't know if it's a good idea to go and do that today. Just because I have so many things to do. I might call and see if I can make an appointment around 536. But I'm not sure how busy it's going to be, so we shall see. <laughs> This is the aftermath. I'm finished. It took a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot longer than I thought it would. Can you even see me? Am I in the frame? All I do know is my phone is probably going to explode from being on that long. I'm going to make sure everything's lined up. Oops, missed a call. And then we're going to edit real quick. This one shouldn't take that long because it's just literally just. <laughs> I had to change my outfit. I was originally wearing this two-piece, but then when I was curling my hair, I burnt myself. And it hurt so bad. I've never burnt myself other than on my ear, which doesn't matter because you don't see it. And if it scabs, it's fine. It's going to be fine in a few days, but I'm tripping because I've never once in my whole life burnt myself while using a curling iron or even a flat iron. I don't know what's going on today. And I'm thinking, do I have to go get polysporin? I put ice on it. It's getting real red. I don't know if you can see. I don't even think wearing this bralette is good for me because it needs to breathe. But I put on the sheer shirt instead. I figured it's better than just having it blaring out there and people thinking like, what did you do to yourself, bra? But we're gonna go. Today feels like such a haphazard day. I'm gonna come back and finish editing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post tonight or first thing in the morning because I think my posts do better when I do it first thing in the morning, but I gotta go because my friend just called me. So I'll see you at the restaurant. Where's my keys though? Can't forget these and sunglasses. I'm literally all over the place. It's horrible. Baby, you should chill. Really in your feels. Roses really in the feels. Neighborhood is really gross. They don't play that here. Shouldn't say that here. Should have made it clear, my dear. You should have called me. You should have called me. Why you never call me? Why I'm so stuffed, guys. It's a problem. Dinner was delicious. I think I reached my quota of Italian food for the month though. Two for two. And we had pizza and pasta yesterday. <laughs> I'm really sad about this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it got so much darker since earlier today. I was looking online for natural remedies. One said lavender and olive oil. The other one said almond oil and what was it? Almond oil and lemon juice. I think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna give it at least a day because I feel like putting something acidic on this is a no-go. Dinner was delish, and I had such a good time with Nadine. It's such a treat to see her two times this month. I haven't seen some of my friends 
for months and years. So they're familiar faces if you've been watching the vlog for a long, long time, but not this year, because literally up until this month, I was only really with Jeff and David, which is the ones you always see. Anywho, I've got so much work in front of me. I'm locked and loaded, I'm ready to go. I'm stuffed. And I'm also so sad about this. You can definitely see it now. It got way darker. I started to Google what I can use. I came up with two natural remedies. The first is lemon juice and almond oil. The other one is, was it olive oil and lavender? I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm willing to try both because this is, this is not a vibe for summer 2022. Why? Why? I don't even know why I let go of the curling iron. I understand if the curl didn't catch. There's no point, it's in the past. All I do know is, is a no. So I'm gonna go put my glasses on if I can even get up because I'm that stuffed. I think I reached my quota of Italian food for the month. Two days in a row, pasta and pizza yesterday too. Yeah, I'm cool on it. I might even be cool on patios to be honest. I like them and it was nice to have like a girl's early dinner today and yesterday. I'm just so full guys <laughs> so I really want Caribbean food and no one wants to go get Caribbean food with me maybe I should learn to cook it properly in my own house how about that but anyway let me stop ranting I'll check in with you guys tomorrow I just didn't want to just like I did yesterday I wanted to check in with you guys after dinner we went for a walk and got bubble tea and that's the first time I had bubble tea this year because I think I was talking to you guys about that in last week's vlog so yeah I think I reached my bubble tea quota too I'm not really I'm not big on it anymore. It's so weird how you can love something at a certain point in your life and then you just flip like a switch. Anyway, talk to you guys. Why is the light off? Sorry, I don't have my camera, so I'm using my phone. Oop, there we go. <laughs> Morning, guys. I'm trying to get it together. The string keeps rubbing against this. Ooh. I'm still so upset at myself for allowing this to happen. There's a first time for everything, right? Anyway. I'm going to try this DIY lightning situation. Let's hope it works, because I can't, <laughs> we're more than halfway done the summer, but 90% of my summer clothes are thin straps or no straps, so. Ay, ay, ay. I keep going to bed so early all week, it has to be the heat, because I didn't drink yesterday that much. I just had a little bit of rosso. Rosso, Rosito, Rosé, whatever you call it. Okay. I still can't believe this happened. You don't understand. When I was little, if I tripped and fell, I would always scrape my knees or my elbows or whatever. I hated wearing bandages because people would always ask, what happened? And I felt, I don't know why, I used to feel so guilty like, I'm not taking care of myself or something. So I would take the bandage off as soon as it starts to heal a little bit, which is not a good thing because you should let it heal fully. But I always used to do that as a kid because I just didn't want people to think that I wasn't taking care of. I'm such a weird kid. Moral of the story is people are going to see this and be like, are you abusing yourself? <sighs> not impressed. But anyways, I'm just going to put it out of my head for now. In fact, I'm going to put these away for now. <laughs> And we're gonna go on with our morning, which starts off with the spinach smoothie. Gotta get my A game on. I didn't expect to have two days. <laughs> I didn't expect to have burrata for two days. What a treat. I'm definitely living a life of luxury, definitely. So grateful for all my friends, honestly. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go, not dark, I won't go missing, because like for months you saw that I wasn't going out with very many people. I'm not going to get back to that level, but I definitely need to take it down a notch. Just a little bit. Okay, is this supposed to be stinging? Because that's what's happening right now. And I didn't even put the almond oil on it yet. The recipe I saw online said almond oil and lemon juice or lavender and olive oil. So I'm going to do this for the first two weeks. If it doesn't work, then I'll switch to the other recipe. I thought about putting it in a jar. I don't want to overpour. I thought about putting it in a jar and just having it, but I don't know if it works. I don't want to make a concoction of lemon juice and sweet almond oil, and then it doesn't work. I'm just gonna put that there for now. Oh, I guess 
today's vacuum the hallway day. Can you hear that? <laughs> okay, so spinach, almond milk. I wish I had yogurt. I need to go buy yogurt today. Remind me. Okay. I don't know. It's such. It was supposed to rain today. We do need the rain desperately. The grass looks fry. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. But maybe I can be productive and go to the grocery store tonight. I don't have any Friday night plans, which is a good thing. My wallet will be happy. <laughs> That should be enough, right? Whoopsies. Yeah, it's definitely time for a pedicure. Can you really have to look that closely to see that my toe grew out? Ugh. Anyway, um, done what I need to do. I need to post to TikTok soon. Finished filming. Finished working, finished everything actually on time. Oh, I didn't finish the thumbnail. I knew I was forgetting something. Anyway, I'm gonna make dinner right now because I'm starving, but I want it to be something healthy. I was thinking about whipping up some stir fry, but then I don't really want that. Although whatever I make has to be heavy on the veggies because this week I OD'd on cheese and meat. I'm not really big into dairy like that. I love me a good pizza though, which is why I didn't mind having it two days in a row. But uh, we need to get back on track with this health-ish. And then tonight, the last couple nights I've been too drained to do my little yoga video, but I want to do a little yoga video for you guys, so. Ugh. The day is more than half done, but there's a lot to do. I still don't know what I'm gonna cook though. Maybe I'll make a fajita bowl, a veggie fajita bowl. Could do that. Could do that. I don't know. I'm hungry, but I'm not craving anything, and that's the worst. Because I'm so indecisive. Are you like that too? <laughs> by Thursday. Don't want to burn myself again. My workout session this morning was great. <laughs> it's funny how we can hear a slogan growing up as a kid and then it stays in our mind for years. There's way too many jingles that I know in companies that don't exist anymore. Well, Tony the Tiger is still a thing, but I don't even think they do commercials like that anymore. And Trix is for kids. Yo, that was my favorite. Trix and Twix. Nobody can do better. Anyways, I'm curling my hair. I think I'm going to change my dress. Today's brunch and beach. Brunch and beach. Brunch and beach. Brunch and beach. Bu -bu 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 -bru 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 brunch and beach. Why am I so extra? I'm going to do my curls super tight. What I loved the most about my burn victim session was that I curled my hair in such a rush. I think in my brain, I was like, oh, let go of the curl, but I let go of the clamp, which is why it fell on my chest. Oh, Lord. Anyways, <clears throat> all my curls dropped by the time I got to a Retta the other day. So I was like, I could have just not done my hair because it kind of had a beach wave vibe to it anyways. And I wouldn't have this burn on my trust that I have to nurture now. Try to nurture back to health. And now this PTSD with curling irons. I flat ironed my hair because it was a little wavy at the top. I wasn't traumatized for that. But this curling iron, first of all, it's got missing pieces. Once upon a time, I tried to super glue it just so it looked aesthetic. But uh, the other part fell out. So, um, so long farewell to that. Like, uh, what is my life? I really want to, the white ones where you can change by clamping in the different sizes, but I don't curl my hair often enough to spend $400 on a curling iron set. If you've ever used one of those, let me know how you like them. If they're really worth the hype. 
And I know everyone's on the Dyson air wrap nowadays, but uh, $500 for a dryer? Nah, Sephora can keep that, especially since they're owned by LMVH or LVAMH, whatever company that owns Louis Vuitton, Moet, Hennessy, Fenty, they got money. They recession proof, they pandemic proof. People are still buying bags with their PP whatever loans in the States and their SERP here in Canada. So luxury items will always be okay, but the individual, not so much, not a money back guarantee. Okay, so anyway, so much rambling. So yeah, today we're gonna go to brunch. Don't know where we're gonna go. I suggested a place, my friend's like, okay. It's another friend I haven't seen in a long time. The last time I saw Roz was, oh my gosh, I don't actually remember. That's how you know. <laughs> oh, and about last night. So after I last checked in with you, I did a lot of stuff for YouTube, some research for TikTok. The more I learn about TikTok, the more I realize I don't think it's really useful for YouTubers or content creators who wanna drive traffic to another audience. Because people stay steady on TikTok. When you're on TikTok, you just keep swiping and scrolling. You're not really like, ooh. The most you'll do is go to someone's profile and watch more of their ish. But how often do you leave the platform to go to another platform? I find I do that more with Pinterest than YouTube. I want to see more of someone somewhere else. Same with Instagram. Once I'm on Instagram, I'm not really looking to click people's links unless I'm like, hmm, something about you is bizarre or very interesting, one or the other. So all this effort and research I'm putting into TikTok, there's so many people that go viral, but they can't translate it or transfer it anywhere else. I think that's kind of sad and a waste because as far as I know, TikTok don't be like that. And if you know about me, I'm serious about my coins. I don't know if I've remitted this to you guys before. Even when I first hit record for a curling iron tutorial 11 years ago, I told myself, this is great. I've just been diagnosed. If I can find a way to be gainfully employed from YouTube, and not have to work for anyone and have to worry if they're going to be stressed that I'm losing vision and they can't trust me because that's the thing. A lot of people have complained about employers thinking they're a liability, even though we can be an asset and we've proven to be more loyal than people we can see because we're grateful to have the job. Whew, that was a long sentence. Point of the story is I always wanted to work for myself in the capacity of communicating information. So whether it was a curling iron tutorial, how to curl your hair. That video is so cringe if you go back and look. Or my nutrition videos, well, the ones that are still up with hair. Or any of my other videos that I posted over the last decade and so. I always wanted to, you know, some people say, I just thought it, I just did it for a hobby. You know, by the time I got in, I don't know why people don't admit back then they were doing it for the coins. The only difference between myself and some people is integrity because so i've seen people work with very questionable people in collaborations who've had multiple scandals and i say no it's not worth it or do crazy things to go viral or do something negative to get attention it's no it's not worth it i just there's a thin line and sometimes i think i cut myself or sell myself short because of this little thing called integrity because there's always going to be someone hungrier than you in any industry. So it all depends what you're willing to do and not do. Wow, this is starting to feel like one of my authentic bots. So if you never listen to my podcast, this is pretty much how we go about things. We just talk about pop culture, go off the top, start rat -a -tat tying about things. I'm going to turn my camera off. I need to use it a little later on. Even though it's fully charged, I'm kind of afraid because when I took the battery out yesterday, it was hot, like frying egg on it hot. And it also shut off on me while I was trying to film a yoga tutorial for you guys. Not just a yoga video, a yoga, like I was actually trying to teach yoga for a change. The first shot I did, I went through and I was so happy that I pressed play to play it back. My head was cut off. And the lighting was good and everything. You know how hard it is? to do good lighting at nighttime, because I want my first one to be a nighttime unwind. So then I did it again, and then my camera shut off, and then I did it again, and my camera overheated, and I said, maybe God doesn't want me to be a yoga teacher. Maybe he knows I don't want to be a yoga teacher. You know how many people told me to become a yoga teacher? I don't want to be a yoga teacher. I love yoga. I don't like teaching. I like talking to you guys and communicating about things and maybe showing you something, but to be like, hey, now you're gonna do this. 
That's why I never became a dietitian because I don't like the idea of instructing someone. Ugh, maybe that's something I need to get over. Tell me if you feel the same. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna click you guys off and check in with you a little later on. I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear this to brunch. We'll see. I'm stuffed but thirsty. That place was beautiful, but the service was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. It's so sad because when I called yesterday to make a reservation, which they don't take, the guy was so friendly. I was like, okay, it's worth going if the service is like this. They said, 45 minute wait, we waited over an hour. The server was doing not even the bare minimum. Like, we tried to call her four times to get our bills. Didn't even ask how we are when we started. She just dropped down the waters and went. Thought maybe it's super busy or they're understaffed. You know, I have that restaurant eye from being in the industry for a while. I have my shoes up here to show you that on top of that. The shoe cracked. Oh, Zara, why you gotta do me like that? So I'm walking and it feels like unstable. Luckily it's not a heel. Maybe it was a sign that I should have wore heels today. But my friend is pregnant. I'm such a fool. I liked her story. She posted last week and the week before where she was popping a balloon and I'm like, hmm. It never dawned to me because I can't see that it was her gender reveal. So she's gonna be a mom to a baby girl. She's gonna be such a good mom. I'm so excited for her. I swear life happens so fast. Everyone that I know that I haven't been able to keep up with because the pandemic really cut a lot of ties. It was a little overwhelming this week to see so many faces that I haven't seen in not just months, but years. Making big moves. So I'm happy. I'm really, really happy that my friends, people that I hold near and dear are in better places than they were. It's just crazy how much, can't say that word, right? <laughs> how much it changed things. It really kicked things into high gear. Like, my friend's married and is gonna have a whole child. What? We used to work at Zara together back in the day. My mind, my mind is blown. So I know five people who got married this year, one that's pregnant, one that's trying, three that bought a home, like big, big life things is crazy. It makes me happy though, because they deserve that. These are some beautiful souls. And I don't know about you, but it fills my heart with joy when I see other people winning, especially those who deserve it. Anyway, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I don't know what I'm gonna wear later today. It's super windy and it's only gonna be colder by the beach, but then it's also hot and humid in certain pockets. So I don't know how to dress for this afternoon, but what I do know, why is this arm sore? I didn't even do that much workout today. I'm gonna have a tea, maybe iced, cause I'm thirsty. Edit a little bit. How much time do I have? I think four or nine. I love how the shuttle bus made me get home so late. This is around the time that I'm supposed to be leaving, but I'll probably work for an hour. That creator life. <laughs> oh, I need to check my calendar to make sure I have the podcasts set for next week. I accidentally posted an old pod on Patreon. Thank God my Patreon to look out for me. And I didn't delete it, so I was able to upload the right one. So as you see, next week's pod, start editing this vlog. Then I'll start to get ready around five-ish. And then I'll head down there hoping to get there by seven. It's a sunset party. I'm thinking about wearing the outfit I was gonna wear when I was hanging out with Nadine and I burnt myself. I maybe put foundation there. David and his friends are not judgmental. They're just gonna laugh at me for being a clown and burning myself, but you never know who I might meet when I'm there. I don't wanna be out here looking crazy. Nice to see you here, same place, different week. Here's another OOTD, or should I say OTT? Wait, what? O-O-T-N, why was that so difficult? It's a swimsuit that I got from Zara months ago, never wore, because I wanted my tan to be even. Since the sun is setting, I don't have to worry about that. But it's giving frumpy. I think certain outfits look better with curly hair, not curled hair, like when my hair is natural. Might just be me. I like there was a little side action there, but I might just wear one of the outfits I was gonna wear last week. I think that's more of sunset beach party. 
We'll see. We'll see. But first, I gotta eat. I gotta, gotta eat, because Lord knows I don't want to be hungry on the shuttle bus or right when I get there. In all honesty, I feel like this is the fit, because it's got a little flair to it. But also, I want to put back on the dress I wore last week. This is the problem with me. I could have a million things in my closet, but I stick to the same thing. I might as well have a capsule closet and keep the coins in my account. It doesn't make any sense. But I was thinking I could wear the dress because I never took an OOTD in it last week. And I mean, I washed it. It's clean. It's only between you and me that you know we wore it to an event last week. But then maybe I should just do something different. It's just jeans are so restricting. And I'm also thinking because that dress is long, it acts as a mosquito netting. And I don't know if there's mosquitoes there. And seeing how I got swollen in a bad way two weeks ago, I'm not trying to do that again today. But... I'm already an hour late and it's going to take an extra half an hour to get there because of the subway delay so <laughs> next time you see me we're going to be there okay to my brown eyes you see my lips always give me a switch side you never know the devil in a disguise so why don't you stand up baby tell me tell me tell me do you want me on top specifically saying like uh -huh, no it's not but you can stay well, so they don't get you know that's clogged. a good point because i remember like some speak easy they wouldn't tell you the magic words until somebody says it to you and then they'll open you to another can you even see me or is it because the light is one sec and this may be a little too glaring especially for the way my hair is looking it's not even that late i wanted to stay but i also needed to go because i have a million one things to do tomorrow plus tonight i need to put this lemon rubin on this better work don't play with me I'm not about to be walking out here with the scar. Like, no, that's not happening. I'll keep you guys posted on if it works or not. I don't want to bring it up every single day of next week's vlog. So hold me to it. I'm still so annoyed. As soon as I saw David, what's that? You know it's gonna scar. Don't, 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 don't remind me, please. <laughs> Just hope that this works, okay? Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if I have to live with this reminder. Why did my brain think of, instead of loosening the clamp, to loosen the whole grip on the, leave it where it is. It's in the past, like so many other things. We're gonna wrap up the vlog right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of accounting while listening to Kevin Hicks. If you don't know, YouTube him, he's so amazing. Absolutely love him. And that's about it. That's what she wrote. I'm gonna wake up and do a lot of stuff early tomorrow. So I'll catch you then. Until then, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.